Hi, I'm James Bell, Calgary's wine snob, where I'll be examining the best boutique wines that Calgary has to offer, the personalities who go out and bring these wines back to Calgary, the stores that sell them, the restaurants that serve them, and most importantly, the dishes that go best with them. Whether it's dessert, breakfast, sushi, Alberta beef, we will have the best products available to you in our market and the best dishes that go with them, served by the personalities behind <laughs> these wine stories. Join me here. I'm here at Davino in Calgary, Alberta on Stephen Avenue. I'm joined by my good friend Brad Royal, Wine Director of Canadian Rocky Mountain Resorts. So here in Alberta, we all know we're a beef province, we're a red meat province. Brad, tell us right. about the first dish. All right. First dish we have coming up today, this is a, a bison tartar, so with a little salt spring island chev. Uh, the bison that we have from this comes from our own Canadian Rocky Mountain Ranch. Uh, this is just south of Calgary. And here we're using the tenderloin cut uh, for, 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 uh, for tartar. Fantastic. And tell me about the wine that we're going to drink with this today. This is from Greece and I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, well, I picked the wine because in the dish, I mean, we're seeing a lot of acid chev, notably cornichon, a little bit of mustard uh, in the dish itself. So it's quite poppy uh, in the mouth, lots of acidity. And you're going to pair something with uh, an equal amount of acid to it. Stuff that we could pair with this normally would be like Chablis, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, but you're going to get the same uh, profile in Robola. So this is coming from the Cephalonia Island. Uh, so this is a part of the Ionian island chain off the west coast of Greece. Fantastic. Can we tuck in? Yeah, for sure. You get that nice pop, some lemon mm. pith, nice chalky notes off the nose. The mm. minerality in this wine is off the charts. I wouldn't have expected wow. that from a Greek wine. Yeah, killer. And I mean, you think about uh, Greek wines in general, the type of uh, Mediterranean climate, the type of food that we're yeah. eating, and this type of uh, high acid, mineral driven whites uh, is part of, part of the culture. The hanger steak, uh, so this is cut off the diaphragm of the cow. Uh, very meaty, quite uh, chewy, lots of flavor in this. This is coming from Top Grass uh, Ranch. This is based east of Drumheller. Completely natural, organic, grass fed beef coming out. Lots of flavor, get a wonderful texture to it. And with this dish, we have a wine called Kitten Swish. 97 cases. And something tells me there's something special about this wine, Brad. Maybe take us through the yeah. Kitten Swish story. That's right. So this is my own uh, wine brand. It's a, a micro negotiant. So I travel around the world picking small barrels uh, from wineries that I find interesting, blending them together to kind of curate or find something interesting about uh, a barrel selection, kind of putting it together and then uh, designing a package for it and then putting it out into the world. Uh, so it's California Pinot Noir. So characteristics here, I mean it's soft, round, very vibrant, Silk. very silky on a palate, very supple very. style wine, yes. I think. And this is going to kind of lay over top of the beef as we're eating into it. That little chewy, it's going to add a little bit of refreshing, but it's going to add some nice textures and contours to the dishes we drink through this wine. Would it be safe to say this is a pretty sexy pairing in terms of the, the fatty, meaty yeah, pairing with the sure. silky, succulent, opulent? Absolutely, pan. for sure. Looking for a dish where you're going to, you're going to dive into this, it's going to be round, luxurious on the palate. The wine is going to complement that exactly. So a very complimentary food wine pairing here. Uh, yeah, it's delicious. Classic French bistro style dish, a little steak frites, a little rib steak, 28 day aged, all local Alberta beef. It's got a classic dish, uh, lots of fat, really rich. Yeah, so this is Hommage Jacques Perrin. So this is Chateau de Beaucastel's classic, uh, kind of top end produced wine. Uh, produced since 1989, uh, based on Mourvedre, so a very classically structured, tannic-driven uh, red, especially when it's made in this kind of fashion. But all 13 varietals used in here, permitted by Chantre Pop. Chantre Pop, classic French bistro-style wine, spicy, aromatic, huge mouthfeel to it, monster wine. Uh, and with this, you're getting that nice kind of ripe tannin profile that you're going to use as a classic food wine pairing here. So nice, rich fat component, nice tannin structure, really aromatic. At 10 years of age on this bottle here, we're really just beginning to see this wine shed into a little bit of light, but an easy wine to drink over the next 20, 30 years. And thankfully, it's not the only one in my cellar. I have one more of these, which I'll be saving for a special occasion. That's it for the Wine Snob. Join me next week.